Once upon a time in Wyoming, when heroes came in all different shapes and sizes, there was these two fellas I want to tell you about. But this story don't start with them. Like many of these tales, this one starts with a drifter. You know, a bounty hunter type. There's a man coming this way. A man? A man. What kind of man? Kind of rides a white horse, got a rifle on his shoulder. And I'll bet you a dollar he got a shiny six-shooter strap just below the hip. That kind of man. Get out back. Don't do nothing that's the kettle steams. Tucker. And who do I have the pleasure of acquainting this fine morning? The name's Charles Love. Charles Love? As in Buddy Love. Well, I'll be hot diggity damn. I've been riding a number of days now. I ain't eating much besides some biscuits, a couple of tins of beans, and a porcupine. A porcupine? That's right. You're telling me Buddy Love's been riding through on nothing but a tin of beans and a porcupine? Well, I never. You know, that's why Jesus! I'm... A porcupine? That must have been tough as a rubber mat. It was. I bet it was. Well, it's been a pleasure, Mr. Love. If you don't mind, I got a party sucker down in the field. Hold it, Mr. Tucker. To. That's why I'm passing. See a couple of little ladies back there told me I'd find the best steak in Wyoming down here. And I was hoping, if your suckler's got the patience, you might invite me in. Have I got a choice? Choice? Of course you got a choice, son. What's that town out 10 miles west of here? Where they're building that church. Must be Shoshone or Riverton. Shoshone. Feels like just yesterday I was riding through these parts. And I could have sworn I passed right through here. They weren't building no church. Hell, there weren't no town here at all. Only trees. Only the one. That not big enough? I oh, man, ain't you joining me? Not today. Well, I must say, that's a damn good steak. What's your secret? A lot of salt. Draws out the moisture. Is that right? Tommy, huh? Come on, Tommy. Tell me the truth. I told you the truth. I risk our reputation as the best steak in Wyoming. Maybe. But I ain't from Wyoming. I don't make steak. Either way, certainly beats the porcupine. And I bet it does. Please, I insist. I've had enough steak this week, Mr. Love. But it's Tuesday. You know what I mean? No. No, I don't know what you mean. Eat it. As I understand it, buddy. And correct me if I'm misinformed. But you are a bounty hunter. 
And as you said, you ain't from Wyoming. So I hope you don't consider me too presumptuous to assume that you're looking for someone in these parts. I doubt a vegetarian cattleman is gonna be of much assistance to me. So what do you do? This fella you're looking for? Ah, uh, you know, rubbed a couple of Chinese laundries in a pharmacy. Again, I hope you don't take me as presumptuous. As I understand that you don't take your prisoners alive. Is that what they say? Rubbing a couple of Chinese laundries in a pharmacy certainly ain't the kind of thing to do. But punishable by death. Depends on your interpretation of the law. Out of interest, was it just two Chinese laundries and a pharmacy? Or did you kill Mr. Tucker too? I don't have to kill you, McCarthy. Just don't surprise me. Because by God, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's surprises. Drop your shooting iron if you want to take it. 